week we covered particle size distribution and we used a hydrometer method to determine our texture of our soils. Okay, so what you did in lab this week is that you put 50 grams of soil into this shaking jar and we added sodium hexametaphosphate. So sodium hexametaphosphate is, acts as a um, deflocculant, so it breaks up those soil aggregates so the sand, the silt, and the clay aren't bound to each other um, in aggregate form. And that way we can get more accurate uh, readings of our, in our sedimentation jar because if they are aggregated, things will uh, settle out faster than we want them to. So we really want to coat all of the soil particles with uh, SHMP. So here we'll, we'll add 25 mils of SHMP. And now we're going to add 100 milliliters of water to this jar. So in here we have our soil, the SHMP, and 100 milliliters of water. And now we need to shake it vigorously for 3 to 5 minutes. our solution. We're now going to add it to our sedimentation jar, so we'll take the plunger out. Add our solution to this sedimentation jar. You want to be sure um, whenever you're doing this in the future that you uh, rinse out the inside so that every you want to get everything from your uh, shaking jar into your sedimentation jar. resuspend everything um, in the sedimentation jar and then as soon as I take this out Amy is going to set in the hydrometer and uh, time for 40 seconds <laughs> That's our reading. This reading gives us the percent of silt and clay that's in solution. Because after 40 seconds, the sand has uh, settled out and only the suspended clay particles and silt particles are what are pushing up on the hydrometer. So this reading we will use in our future calculation. Our next reading is of an hour and a half. So we'll see you in an hour and a half. So it's been an hour and a half, so what we expect to be suspended is the clay, whereas the silt and all the sand particles have settled. 